There is an old English saying, give a man a fish, you feed him for a day, teach a man to fish, you feed him for a lifetime. And this introduces the concept of training the trainer. Reconstructive microsurgery gives the potential to provide the best outcomes using very advanced, delicate surgical techniques. The real advantage of reconstructive microsurgery is that we're now able to reconstruct very complex defects that previously were unreconstructable. And in some ways microsurgery is important for uh, hospitals and administration because it allows patients to heal faster and therefore leave the system faster, thereby saving money. My Taiwan Fellowship in 1999 was an eye-opener to me. Every day there were at least 5 to 10 free flaps going on and we had many teachers and fellow trainees to guide us. After my visit changed dramatically. My patients had benefited greatly from this uh, opportunity that I have to work with him. What makes Taiwan so special is the amazing experience they gained over the years the workload in the diversity of cases, but there is constant exchange of views and constant mutual learning and mutual teaching. The opportunity I had to discuss openly with different surgeons and meet trainees from all over the world gave me the different perspective and improved my clinical judgment. When you follow your master surgeon, watch what he does, copy what he does, ask questions, it was a very open and generous way of learning. It uh, changed my way of teaching a way that I would like to build up the next generation of microsurgeon. It needs a trainer to be competent and confident enough to foresee the limitations and the difficulties of the trainee. Without that guidance, you won't become the uh, microsurgeon that uh, you need to become. The program of international microsurgery at Uppsala University Hospital started in 2013. Our teaching philosophy uh, is very similar from what we have learned in uh, 10 years ago in Taiwan through uh, teaching and sharing. This is was a very life-changing experience. Taiwan is unique, it's special, and it would still be my first choice if I could start all over again my journey.